Today we're gonna make a fantastic heart-shaped clicky fidget in minutes. So let's get cracking. We're gonna start today's project with a bit.ly slash ZDP heart. This is a fantastic heart created by ZDP189. Absolutely love that he leaves these set to copy and tinker. Of course, friends, before you ever copy and tinker, make sure you follow the golden rule of Tinkercad and give a reaction. All right, so real quickly, ZDP left this to copy and tinker. I'm gonna show you what that means if I do control D and shift nudge out here a little bit. We have got an exact copy of what was built and we can ungroup it and see how it was built. So it was easy to spot that those were two halves, but check out the parts that were inside. Right now we've got little pieces over here that were used to make it smooth. I'm gonna click back on this one again and ungroup it again. Let's see if we can find some basic shapes. Once again, this is what is so cool about projects that are set to copy and tinker. You can ungroup and discover how the entire project was made one click at a time. There you can see we started with a basic heart shape and then we used these pieces to curve it in every direction, resulting in the slick heart that we've got right here. Once again, friends, you can play with this as much as you want. I am just gonna simply take this and make it into a clicky fidget. So the first thing we need to do is make it smaller. I am going to shift shrink along the Z axis and I wanna get it down to like 44. When I check the other measurement, it is in the 40s as well, so that makes me happy. Now I'm gonna take it and rotate it 90 degrees. Notice if we stay inside the blue circle, it takes four clicks. If you hold down shift, it goes 45 degrees at a time or two clicks. If you bring your mouse outside that circle, it's one degree at a time. So of course I want it 90 degrees. I'm gonna let go and then hit D to drop so that it's ready for assembly. Now we do need to change the thickness. We have got this little part right here that's 11.27. We're gonna use the number 12.5 and we're gonna use the number five for this. So if we take 12 and a half plus five, we can get by easily with 18 or 19. That gives us a little extra play. Now you wanna keep the fidget parts for other projects. To do that, we store them as your creations. Simply click on the shape switch to your creations and then hit create shape and after a moment it'll load you can name it this is going to be called the key cutout we do keep it a hole we also lock the part size and we need to save the shape it'll show up right here ready for use same thing right here once again create shape this will be key cap once again, whole, lock the part size, save the shape. If you ever have a duplicate, like I've done this more than once, you simply click on the gear and you can delete that part. Now, whenever you launch another project, of course, it'll start in basic shapes, but if you switch to your creations, those parts will be available to use. So we need to cut this in half. Here's a new trick, bring out the hole, stretch it past, of course, I told you the number is 12.5 and press enter. Now we want everything on this side taken away. So watch this. If we look below, the white handle switches to the bottom. And now when you lift it up, it cuts the other side. I'm going to select all of that and do control D. Let's do shift nudge to move that part out of the way. And we can take these two parts and do control G to group them. That is going to be the heart, and one of my favorite things about this is you'll see that it's got this split, but when we send it to the 3D printer, the slicer will get rid of all of those. So even though this design is not super smooth, you're going to find that your printer prints smoother than Tinkercad designs. I'm going to take these two and get them close to lined up. I'll make this one smaller just because it makes sense. And then here's my next favorite trick. We're going to do this same thing and drag below. We did not have to do any math, it just automatically works because of the angle we were dragging from. Select those two and do Control G to group. And after a moment, you have got the two halves we're gonna use for our clicky fidget. 
Select them, L for align, make the heart the master. Of course, it's already centered, but we want it this way. We're gonna move this part over to the side. I'm gonna do shift nudge to get it so it's exactly where I want it. And then I'm gonna leave it floating just so the next part makes a little more sense. Let's click on the hole and shift select this piece of the heart, do L for align. Once again, make the heart the master and we want center, center, and we want that part to come to the top. Now I'm gonna warn you, it's not really at the top. We need to do point one and control up. Now it is fully at the top, which will be good for the next part of the project. If you look at this from the top and you don't think it's aligned, you can adjust it if you want. I'm gonna go back to the one millimeter nudge and I'm gonna move it up one millimeter just so I feel like that's more centered on the weight of the clicker. And now that I'm happy, I'm gonna align these two the same way. So I'm shift selecting, L for align, and I want them to align to this part's middle. Now I can select these two and do L for align, and I want it to align to the center of the heart. If we look below, you can see these are across from each other, the heart matches, and the last step right here is we need to flip this. I used to print face down because it was cool on the Bamboo Labs printer. This one is gonna print with this part up, so we need to click on it and do the mirror along this angle. Now it looks like a key cap. Finally, we can click on that, and do D to drop. Select those two, Control G to group. Select these two, and also do Control G to group. Notice it does take a moment. We'll make sure that one did cut out, and it did. And then to make this easier to print, because this side has a little smoothness, but, but not a lot, we're gonna print it upside down. Now you'll notice inside here, you may get some stringing. I'm gonna tell you because of the way we smush the keys in there, it does not matter. So simply click, choose mirror, and bingo, we're ready to send to the 3D printer. If you wanted to add a word on top of this, of course you can. I'm gonna leave mine super simple and let you guys have fun and make them super awesome. Of course, to send it to the printer, you simply select them, choose export, selected shapes, and it's gonna be an STL. Of course, it does take a moment to export. Those little shapes are complex. And of course, I'm gonna save it in my 3D modeling as Fidget Heart ZDP. Real quickly, let's bounce to Bamboo Lab Studio. I'm gonna hit add. And in my 3D modeling, there is our fidget heart. Once again, we can open it. I'm gonna quickly right click and change to my red filament. Once again, it will have a little bit of stringing, but I'm not worried about that. I'm using 0.2 layers. We're gonna slice that plate, check it out. It's only gonna take about 25 minutes. Now we can hit print plate, double check our colors send it to the 3D printer. After a moment, it bounces to the device menu. And of course, the downloading commences. And once it finishes, we can hit play and monitor everything from afar. And less than 30 minutes later, we have got fantastic parts ready for a fidget. Of course, as I mentioned, got a little bit of stringing in there. Check it out, does not matter at all. Do find the edge and the edge of your keycap and simply push it straight in. It snaps in there just fine. Then, of course, grab the top and press it in as well. Almost instant clicky heart fidget. How cool is that? Friends, there you have it. Thanks to ZDP189, we have got a fantastic clicky fidget in just a few minutes. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to say thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Don't forget, you can learn more in the description or with the bit.ly up above. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.